Hello and welcome back to the channel and we are here with the third part of my common room trailer breakdowns and this time from the poll the second favorite was to do the Hufflepuff common room so that is what we are doing. Now this is a common room that hasn't been seen in the books or the movies so I was really excited to dive into this. If you do like this video then please check out the links below and also in the tiles above because I will link the two previous breakdowns that I've done so far in this series. I have broken the down the incredible slivering common room and I've also broken down my house common room which is Ravenclaw. Gryffindor will be coming out on the channel in the next couple of days. Also if you like anything Hogwarts Legacy then check out below because I will link some of my previous video breakdowns. I break down all of the trailers that we get for the game and I also go into any news and any theories that we have for the game coming up before its release in February. And also on this channel we do cover everything else at Wizarding World. If that sounds like something you're interested in then please consider subscribing to the channel and also get involved in the comment section down below because I do reply to everyone. But let's not delay and let's get into the trailer breakdown of the Hufflepuff common room. So the Hufflepuff common common room is an unexplored location in both the books and the films so it's a location I was really excited to go to. The first thing I noticed when doing this breakdown is the common room seems to be quite a lot smaller than what we've seen with the Slivering common rooms and the Ravenclaw common rooms that I've done the breakdowns for so far. It seems to be much more similar size to that we see of the Gryffindor common room in the movies and in the books. The Hufflepuff common room consists of only two rooms. This room that we see here with the fireplace and the room that we see here with the doors all around it. Now although it's small, one thing does come to mind when you're looking at it and that is the fact that this common room looks absolutely incredible. It seems to symbolize the Hufflepuff persona absolutely perfectly. The first thing I noticed instantly was how cozy everything looked and how close everything was. If you look at all of these students in this trailer compared to the students in the other trailers, they are all closer together. They are all more of a loyal group. In a lot of the other trailers, there was a couple of characters together talking, but the spacious areas of the Ravenclaw and Slytherin trailers just meant that they were all spaced out. There didn't seem to be such a level of unity as we see in this trailer where the characters sat around in the areas of this common room. But anyway, the first shot of this trailer opens up with a wide shot of the main seated area of the common room. It has this large ornate fireplace to the left hand side. It has got golden artwork around the flames with depictions of the Hufflepuff badger. Above it we see how Hufflepuff herself and she actually really impressively is holding the Hufflepuff cup that we know later comes to be one of Voldemort's horcruxes. In the distance on the far right hand side you can see the notice board that we get in all of the common rooms. It has the same Chudley Cannons poster on it and there's a couple more pieces of paper on this one. Unfortunately it's a bit too far away for me to make out. The thing that I noticed about a lot of the flowers hanging from the ceiling is they all seem to be in cauldrons, which I think is a really nice touch that just didn't need to be done. They could have been in hanging baskets, but it just gives it a real Hogwarts feel. There's a couple of strange things I noticed in this room that potentially could lead to secrets in the game. The first one was this bookcase right in the middle of the screen to the rear. And it just seems to be the perfect size and shape for a doorway. Now I think I know exactly where this could lead to and I think that it could lead straight into the kitchens where the house elves are at work which would mean that the Hufflepuffs in this common room would have direct access to food at all times which sounds absolutely incredible. I'm sure there's going to be some form of password or maybe secret code that you have to tap out on the books that would open this doorway but I am very very sure that this is not just a normal bookcase it's actually a doorway into the kitchens. And the second thing I noticed as the scene changes is that this portrait to the opposite side of the room, directly opposite the bookcase, is a very prominent position and in such a position that the character would be near enough at head height with this character in the picture. It is worth noting as well that the character is a moving picture so it's not one of the static ones so I think this is going to be a very prominent feature of the Hufflepuff Colm room, possibly even give you quests. He might even be in charge of the opening and closing the secret passageway directly in front of his eye light. 
As you can see from this location, there is two stairs that go either side of the common room up into this balcony area. Unfortunately, we do not get a very clear shot as to exactly what is at top of the balcony, as we do see it later, but our character just walks up to the edge of it. Potentially, it does go around to the right and left at the top, so potentially there are some doorways up there, but we cannot see it in this trailer. As we pan down, we see more and more of these students congregated together, studying and learning and talking. The scene then changes into this room, and I believe that this room is going to contain all of the dormitories. If we look at the other shot that we get of this room, you can see that the entrance doorway to the right hand side at the bottom of these steps is directly opposite this doorway to the left. That means that there is three sets of doorways either side of this central doorway. That would be perfect for the seven years of Hogwarts. So I believe that each of these is the boys and girls dormitory respectively, one on top of each other for each of the years of Hogwarts. To the right hand side of this room, there is the chest that we have had in all of the common rooms so far. I believe that this is going to be to store in items that we would take on quests with us, such as potions or plants that we can use during battles. And then to the right hand side here, in a single frame, you catch a glimpse of the flu flame that can teleport us directly into this common room. In this shot here, we can actually see a student sat on top of that overarching balcony of the central doorway. I love the design of all of the doors in this common room. It gives a very Hobbit vibes, but I love the intricacies of it, that the fact that they have decided to make seating areas in between all of the doorways and use the actual frames of the doors to create those. Everything about this common room just screams comfort. And in similar tradition of the other trailers, we also get a look at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. Our character walks down this corridor and one thing that caught my eye initially was this student walking along carrying a pile of books and they have obviously bewitched one of the books to float in front of them so they can read it as they walk. We turn the corner and if you look at the barrels on the wall, each of them have three of these really weird looking faces on them until you get to the final one, which is actually the entrance to the common room and this only has two faces on it to distinguish it from the others. There's also these pillars with flames on top of them with the Hufflepuff badger symbolizing that this is the entrance to the common room. As our character approaches, these two faces slide apart and so does the door. You can see that it leads directly into the fireplace room. Now, two more things that I noticed in this area. And the first one is, this character here seems to be doing something with these barrels here. Now, I couldn't tell if this was a spell and some sort of magic happening, or my other thought was potentially this was a ghost coming through the wall to speak to this character. But there is definitely something happening here, and I would like to know exactly what it is, but unfortunately the camera pans off just at the right moment. And the other thing that I noticed in this scene is one of the reasons why I believe that the common noon will lead directly into the kitchens, and that is because we actually get a glimpse of the entrance to the kitchens. The kitchens in Hogwarts is located behind a picture of a fruit bowl down near the hearth puff common room and if you look to the left hand side of the screen here you can actually see that fruit bowl if you tickle the pear it will turn into a door handle and you can open into the kitchens there i knew that the kitchens were in close proximity to the half puff common rooms but i did not realize exactly how close they were as our character walks through the doors, they enter into the fireplace room as seen here, and we get a nice shot of the fat friar by the fire. He is the Hufflepuff ghost, so it makes sense for him to be in the common room. It's a nice addition to see him wandering around in this trailer. The camera pans all the way around and we get a slightly better look at this portrait here. Again, it just looks in a very strange position and has to be interactable. We get another look at the fat fryer in this scene as our character walks down the stairs into the fireplace room. He has stood in front of this photo of a Quidditch player. Because the common room seems to be such a small area, we do get a lot of shots of the same locations. However, this final shot is actually a slightly new location, and this is the balcony above the fireplace room. You can see our character walking up the stairs and then looking down over the rest of the students in the common room area. 
As our character approaches the balcony, you can just see the natural light flooding into the room and just giving it such a welcoming feel. And as always, let's talk about the robes for the Hufflepuffs. I genuinely love these. The design of the badger looks absolutely incredible and is a lot clearer than we've seen in any of the other depictions of the Hogwarts crest itself. You can see the badger in all its glory and it just does look fantastic. The right hand side of the robes are obviously the yellow of Hufflepuff and the left hand side it seems to be a dark grey and silver type colour. The Hufflepuff common room though small is absolutely gorgeous and I do love it completely. It is such a perfect example of what I would imagine the Hufflepuff common room to look like and again it just shows the loyalty and the camaraderie of all the students in Hufflepuff house themselves how much they have to intermingle and be with each other because of the size of the common room and the design of it. There's such an earthy feel to it with the plants and teapots everywhere. Everything feels so natural and so alive and it is just absolutely gorgeous. The two little hidden features that I've pointed out really make me want to explore the game as a Hufflepuff to see if that picture or the possible bookcase doorway are features that we will be able to unlock as the game goes on. So there you have it. That was my breakdown of the Hufflepuff trailer. It really does look absolutely incredible and I really just can't wait to explore it further in the game. I also want to know if any of my theories about the secret passageways are true and I would like to see that play out in the game. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this breakdown and let me know if there's anything that I missed or what your thoughts are on my theories about the secret passageways and that secret picture that we see throughout the trailer. Also, we do have a Discord which is very new we are looking for new members so if you want to talk about anything wizarding world with me outside of these videos then come over to the discord the link will also be in the description down below but that was it for this video i really do hope you enjoyed it and i cannot wait to see you in the next one but until then mischief managed